So this week's video is going to be pretty short. Um, I've been super busy this week, so I haven't had the time to really sit down and um, do the video. So we've done a lot of projects this week. Um, there's been busy bees. So um, we ended up being able to do the crib conversion yesterday, and it was really fun and super easy, and we got it done really quickly. We got the whole project done um, in less than an hour. So. Um, I posted all the details about that um, in the album on my Facebook page, uh, which is just facebook.com forward slash my toddler at home. Um, I'll post the links down below. Um, but what I did was I just took the Allen wrench and took the one side off the crib, and then I measured out the um, the width and the length of the crib, and then I had gone to Home Depot and bought a piece of MDF. Um, the instructions that I found online stated to um, get um, a quarter inch thick board of MDF or particle board, um, but all I was able to find was um, an eighth of an inch thick. So I took that and um, I had them cut it down to size. The first time that I did it, it was actually the wrong size, so I had to take it back and have them cut it down, which was super nice of them. Um, they do that for free, um, just out in their lumber part. And um, once I got the right size on that, um, I had the chalkboard paint, which was um, eight dollars and some change for the whole can, and I didn't even use um, a quarter of the can. So um, I've got plenty of that left to do further projects. Um, and then um, I took this roller that I found at the dollar store, um, and I rolled it on, um, which I'm actually glad that I bought the roller instead of just a paintbrush because it needs to be rolled on, not just painted on with a paintbrush. Um, I had my neighbor over here taking the pictures for me so I could get those posted up online. Um, it took about 20 minutes for that paint to dry, which was, uh, was really nice because I know that paint usually can take hours, even sometimes overnight to fully dry. Uh, but it was, the chalkboard paint was fully dried within about 20 minutes. Um, once that was done, I went and I just, I used Elmer's glue, which actually was the wrong kind of glue to use. Um, I figured it'd be fine, but it actually was not, so I need to go out and get some actual adhesive for it because I put some Elmer's glue on the base of the crib, um, and then I laid the board down on it and just let it sit for about um, a half an hour, and then I let my son go in there and play, and he ended up just ripping it right off. So, note to self, don't use Elmer's glue on, on projects like that. So, um... I, like I said, I have to go get the adhe adhesive and um, re-glue that part. But everything else has stayed uh, pretty good. The the chalk that we bought, I found it at um, at the craft store for $2. Um, and uh, so that works just fine on the chalkboard paint. I thought it was going to be weird, but it actually, it's like legit chalkboard material. So um, I'm pretty excited about that. The whole project itself um, turned out really cool. It was super inexpensive cost me less than twenty dollars for everything altogether. Um, the other project that we did was we took uh, just regular old um, brown paper lunch bags and at the dollar store I found just that uh, that foam type paper and I cut out shapes and then we found also these little wiggly eyes so we took those and we glued them all on there and had a ton of fun with that and kind of chased each other around. Um, Talent had a ton of fun with that and um, the other thing that we did this week was um, I took Talon down to Playdate PDX, which happens to be this giant indoor play structure that um, is here in Portland where I live um, and let him kind of run around there. I love taking him there because he can't really escape, so it's this indoor play structure with that's part cafe as well, so I can kind of go down there with one of my girlfriends and you know, relax and have a cup of coffee while he goes and plays and, you know, knowing that he's safe in there. So, uh, that was really fun. Um, but that pretty much concludes this week. Um, just been really busy trying to, um, get stuff figured out as far as income goes for myself. Um, things are getting a little bit tight. So, um, I mean, may not be able to, um, post a lot of videos um, until I get some more income coming in to go out and buy more craft supplies. But we do have uh, plenty of craft supplies here to do um, and plenty of crafts here at home. Um, my score of the week that I got was at Target. 
I found a Halloween and uh, Thanksgiving crafts little booklet for kids um, and it cost me a dollar and it's got 32 pages of different crafts that you can do for Halloween and Thanksgiving. Um, I was really excited about that because I kind of find myself running out of ideas and trying to find things on the internet so um, there's you know our our two two crafts for the week um, that we did this week and um, as far that's really all I've done other than trying to get my my own stuff taken care of so I apologize for not having uh, more to talk about on here um, I've posted the the project of the alphabet letters up on the on the wall um, unfortunately I can't get the picture to show up of the letters actually glowing in the dark um, but I did get a picture of the full alphabet up across the top of his window I'm also gonna do the letters or I'm sorry numbers 1 through 20 and um, get those put up and then a giant rocket ship that I'm gonna outline in that same um, glow-in-the-dark fabric paint um, and just give him stuff to look at at night you know once the lights go out um, so I'll get pictures of that when it's all completed and get those put up on my Facebook um, and um, so I know that this is starting to get promoted out there a little bit and that's really cool I love to see that this is getting out there to other people um, so I would love to see your guys' ideas come in subscribe to my channel um, you can send me messages on the Facebook page um, I also have my own personal Facebook which I'll put that link down below um, to kind of see where I'm at and where I'm coming from. So that's really it for today and hopefully I can get a video posted um, in the next couple of days when we do our next craft project as well as um, getting the information and the pictures posted from uh, finishing up the alphabet and the letters and the rocket ship on the wall. So have a fun week with your toddlers and don't forget to subscribe. Have a good night.